everybody so today I decided to make a summer mocktail and this is a mango one on my channel I'm actually gonna do some more mocktails but I haven't quite decided what other flavors to do so I just simply typed into Google mocktail recipes and it came up with 30 so there's a lot of different ones to choose from and I literally just went for the first one on the list but in the future say in the next month or so I'm gonna try out some more on my channel so stay tuned and the one I decided to go for was this one here and if you want to print screen the ingredients and you can do that if you want to try this out but that's basically it and throughout this video I'm going to be showing you the method on how to do it So the first thing you want to do is just chop up some cucumber, about four to five slices, and I think that just kind of makes it fresh tasting, and chop them into little cubes. The recipe didn't actually specify, but this is what I've decided to do. Now, realistically, you should technically have a cocktail shaker, but we don't have one of those, so I literally just got this beaker, um, cup thing you could just use any bottle and I put some maple syrup in that with the cucumber give it a good old shake around this is literally the most funnest thing ever you wouldn't think it but it is so yeah give it a little shake around and the next thing that I did is make the mango puree you could simply just buy mango puree or you could get tinned mangoes or even fresh mango put it in a blender and then obviously blend it up will thank me that I did not keep the sound on for this bit because it is very loud. The next step is literally just putting the mango puree in with the maple syrup cucumber. Mmm, yummy. It didn't actually smell very nice, I've got to admit, but at the end it did, so you've got to be patient. I'm now adding in some lime to that, and obviously it's personal preference whether you prefer more lime or less lime. I personally love sour things, so I added a fair amount. And again, you give this a shake. Make sure all of the flavors are combined. This is a very fun process, so don't miss out. And now I'm adding in some ice cubes, just a couple. These ice cubes are actually quite big, so it's up to you as to how many you add in. And then again, we give it a good old mix. Literally the best thing ever. Now it's time to sieve out the contents of the beaker and make sure that any cucumber is not going to get through because trust me, cucumber in a drink is a little bit odd so it's basically just there for the freshness of the flavour. Once it's sieved through, you add the mango sort of substance into the bottom of a glass or two glasses in my case. And then I got some ginger beer and added that to it. That's what the recipe specified, but you could probably get lemonade or something because I'm not the massivest fan of ginger beer, but I think it was all right and it, go and it went pretty well with the mango, but it's completely up to you. Now, all that's left to do is add in some ice cubes. I just added a couple into each glass. It kind of just makes it more of a summery drink, more cool. And as you can see, the mango's kind of settled at the bottom of the glass, so you could just give that a quick mix around. Now I thought I'd try and put some sugar around the rim of the glass. Very difficult, very difficult. I couldn't do it without using my fingers, so I'm sorry. Now I decided to put a slit down half of the lemon and attach it to the side of a glass to make it look cool. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you give this recipe a try and stay tuned for more recipes and more videos from me. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!